In the chemistry classroom this year, as you conduct laboratory experiments, safety will be your number one concern. This tour of the classroom will show you all the safety features that you will use during labs. The classroom contains two fire extinguishers and one fire blanket. The first fire extinguisher is near the front door. The second fire extinguisher is at the front of the classroom, in between the teacher's desk and the fume hood. The fire blanket is next to the door that leads into the prep space. The main gas shutoff valve to the classroom is located between the prep space door and the fume hood. In order to shut off the gas, open the door and turn the lever. This is how the emergency gas shutoff works. Twist and pull. To shut off the gas, first open the door, then turn the handle from parallel to perpendicular. When using a Bunsen burner, first attach the gas tubing to the gas valve. The gas valve is currently in the off position. To turn it on, move the lever so that it's parallel to the gas valve. Now it's on the on position. Safety goggles need to be worn at all times. These can be found at the back of the classroom in the goggle storage center. These students are conducting a laboratory experiment. As you can see, they're all wearing goggles. While cleaning up, students leave their goggles on. The eye wash station is located at the back of the classroom, next to the goggle storage center. To operate the eye wash, simply pull down on the lever, the eyelid flaps will open and water will squirt out. If any glass breaks in the lab, it should be swept up with a dustpan and broom that are hanging on the back wall next to the goggle storage center. These can be removed for easy cleanup of broken glass. The broken glass should then be deposited in the glass waste container. The fume hood is located at the front of the room. All experiments involving volatile substances must be conducted in the fume hood. Hazardous waste is also stored in the fume hood. 